Hi, I'm Mark D'Amato, and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. It's, again, five days later. Oh, look at that bridge. So we should be close to the mountains now. Or, like, at the mountains. Elvin! Alvin! See anything? She better see something. We've been walking for a damn week. We've got to find some shelter. There's a lift or something. Chairlift? Must be that ski resort. I've never been skiing. <laughs> Beck and I went once. It wasn't pretty. <laughs> There's a building on the mountain. What's it look like? It's big. That sounds like a good place to spend the night. There's the bridge. And does it look passable? Mm. I think Looks so. Looks rusty. Good. There's a little house by the bridge. How big is it? It's pretty small. I think that's all the info we need. We have to cross that bridge. Let's go. Hold on now. We can't all go sprinting across that thing, okay? We get spotted out there, we're gonna be trapped. Going around that lake will take too long. Right, but look, we've got no idea who's out there. Okay, I'm gonna sneak across, make sure it's clear before we bring the whole group over. You think splitting up the group is a good idea? Well, I never said it was a good idea, but it's better than risking everyone at once. What's your plan? Clem and I can scoot across low and slow, make sure nobody's waiting for us on the other side. I like this plan. We'll have a tough time covering you from back here. Well, we'll just turn back if it gets hairy. Clementine should stay here. She's... Extremely fucking She's confident. what? She's just a little girl, Luke. I can do it. See? No problem. I have been through shit. It's you gonna be fine. Okay, we'll see you guys in ten minutes. Just... Watch for a light at the far side. I can go too. You stay with the group. I'm fine, Luke. I don't like this. Yeah, well, when's the last time you liked anything, Carlos? Fair point. Fair if point. something happens, I'll cover you. Come on. Nothing personal, hey, Luke, but uh, you routinely get Sorry about that. I just could really use your eyes, and right now I don't trust Nick to tie his own shoes. You're just still on edge after the Carver thing. It's been five days. Why would Carver still be following us? What's the most important thing in this world? What does everyone want? Family. It's a tough world out there without people you can trust. Anyways, you, you can ask Rebecca, okay? I'm, I'm not gonna get in the middle of it. We've all made mistakes. Done things that we regret. I know what that's like. Yeah. Oh, got some walkers. Two of them. Uh, oh, that's. Hmm. That's a Can't shoot them. Too much noise. Let's take them. I like your style. I'll take the big one. You get shorty. Wish we could use guns. Got it. I'll take the small one. Good. Let's do it. Hammer time. Woohoo. Go ahead. Give it to a pull. It should come free. I know. I've done this before, remember? In a oh, you don't have to... No, Clem, come on. Uh, this crap. <clears throat> nice work, kid. Ow. Hazel. <laughs> Kidding.
I like Clem. Clem's a really good character. Well, I will say that by the end of this episode, not this video, but of episode two, it's all new ground and I have no idea what happens. So I'm kind of excited for that. Oh, zombie. Because I have seen Let's Plays of the, well, a Let's Play of Season 1 and a bit of Season 2. Besides from that, it'll all be new for me. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to take different choices than I saw. Shit. Definitely not rehashing color. I keep forgetting we're, we're very small. We can't really do headshots with much ease. Whoa! Crap. Whoa, this is fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't... The gameplay, there's... Again, never thought I'd say this. Way too much fucking gameplay in this game. Like, the game works best when it's making the, s the dialogue choices. But this quick time shit just detracts. I can't reach. It's okay. Clem, look, you figure something out. Behind you! Oh shit. It's like they, like, like they did this in Soma too. It's like they, they had a good thing with their story going, but they had to ruin it by putting too much video game into their uh, into their video game. It's like the gameplay seems almost tokenistic, and it doesn't need to be. Like, the gameplay story balance of Season 1, in my opinion, was freaking perfect. Machete! Lost him his machete. Thanks, Clem. That was a bad situation. Let's keep going. You see him? Yeah. Just play it cool. And you do the talking. Oh, what? that was machete back. Why me? Because I don't want to get in a fight. I mean, you really think he chewed a little girl? Trump. Just don't make any sudden moves. And don't piss him off. I'd shoot me. Well, that's a hell of a thing to say. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> well, if it comes to that, I'll shoot him first. But good thing you know, to know you have my back. Well, he looks nice. Well, who are you? Well, who's asking? I am. I'm Clementine, and this is Luke. Clementine and Luke. Yeah.
Huh. You don't look like assholes. Are you assholes? No offense or anything, but you know how it is out here. I'm not an asshole. What, are you calling me an asshole? <laughs> you folks headed north like everyone else? That's everyone else? I see at least one group a day move through here. They all look the same. Have you seen someone named Krista? Krista? Maybe. Really? No, I mean, a lot of people come through here. I don't know. I gotta say, you two look like shit. If you need food, I've got some canned stuff in that station back there. Well, that's, uh, awful nice of you. What's the catch? No catch. I've got plenty. Well, all right then. Thank you. Hey, no problem. Nice running into friendly faces out here. Like I said, I've got food and supplies back in the station. And if you want... What the fuck, man? What the hell is he doing? No, 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 he's, he's with us. Nick! No! Put it down! Nick, no! Oh, God. Ugh. Did I hit him? Where is he? I told you not to shoot. What? Who was that guy? He was going to help us. How do you know? Damn it, Nick. I told you not to shoot. How was I supposed to hear you? You gave me a clear shot. That shot rang out for miles. We gotta get off this bridge. Let's go. <sighs> Thanks, Nick. I mean, there are a few exceptions, but a lot of the people I've met in real life who are called Nick are assholes. It's like the number one name for assholes. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy going to shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Oh, you're wrong. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't- Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I- No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Look, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Bex dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Thanks, Clem. I'm gonna talk to Alvin and Rebecca, see how they're doing. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm alright. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Sarah's off in her own little world and cannot even be interacted with. See so, you how know, next holding up. I had to kill my mom. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Well, we already know this, but okay, go on. Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. What was his plan? Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I 
I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. Good imitation. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. Yeah. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. I found it back at the cabin. Let me grab it. What? Really? Thank you. This means... Thank you, Clem. No problem. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. Clear communication is the... Let's get them through. Okay, look through the window first is probably the smart thing. Ski. Let's see what canned food he's got. The man said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. Uh, ooh. This looks nice. I'm taking that. WM. Convenient initials. Oh, that that is pretty. Feels pretty good. That is a pretty knife. I guess he slept here. It's dead. Ah, shame. That's Jimmy the Trunk open. Hey, our knife didn't break. Ah, food. Dear Spellman, the Migard's Gambit. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. Give him a break. His uncle just died. Yeah, true enough. I don't know what I'd do if I lost Beck. I'm just saying. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Actually, yeah. What happened? A woman in our group. Her dad died, and then she just shot this other woman. Ex Damn. Well, if it had what got you do? the properly, she would have known it was Doug, but eh, never mind. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. I mean, she can definitely it's a get... It's shame. Nick was a good guy. Ache? He's still a good guy. He's just losing. I mean, it. definitely she can have God one of the cans. Fine, but hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. We can split the rest. The hell is that? Oh, a lot of walkers. Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. Run. Hey, we reached the cabin. Dang's Dan Dano's Hill, well, Boogie's Trail, Pinewood. What are we Island. waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. 
Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I never got that impression back in the first game. First season, rather. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was You're fun. Insane. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. Jeez. Whoa, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're you're fine. Alright, just just slow down. Just for a second, okay? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. Bard. Okay, now that is a view. Okay, we got a crow here. So Made it! I guess the man in the freaking Randall flag from the stands involved somehow. The man in black fled across the desert. I can see the bridge! Oh. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke! Luke! Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone Keep calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Kenny! Kenny! Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? Hug. <laughs> yeah, Kenny! He's alive! I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Interesting, if you select, I thought you were dead, Kenny says an, a hilarious thing that I always thought I, that I'd probably say in the situation. I thought you were dead. I am dead, Clementine. You're just dreaming. <laughs> this is a hack. That's a Kenny we know and love. Sounds like a runescape in here. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. Wait. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist <laughs> making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? 
Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm good. Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Well, no, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Kenny! Kenny's alive! Yay! Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. Yeah, the, not, neither will I. So, one of the hardest parts you of the game up? for me. I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. Has it been easy for me? I'm anyone? sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real that is lucky. an incredible beard he has. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? <laughs> of course he mm. is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Next save point, we're closing this. <laughs> It's so great. Hey, Clementine. Back. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I agree. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Ooh. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Hmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? 
What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. <laughs> the gas must be terrible. Oh, striking resemblance. Yeah, I heard that joke before. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Look around the lodge. So we're up in Twin Peaks, I guess. Yeah, butterfly. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Reminds me of school. Ah, good King Wenceslas. That's not the tune. I haven't seen one of these What's since. What's song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Clem, we could use some help. Here, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. So, how'd you meet Kenny? I found him holed up in an old restaurant, if you can believe it. Hold up? You should have seen his beard mm. then. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. I'm imagining a... We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. I'm imagining Kenny with a big old ZZ Top beard now. It's actually kind of funny. What the hell is this thing? Christmas duck! What a funny little guy. Christmas duck. Where would the Christmas topper be, the tree toppers be? Look at the map. So I wonder, would this be the White Lodge or the Black Lodge where it presently are? Upstairs, obviously. Because we're clearly in Twin Peaks right now. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't Thank be sure. In the of the woods. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Ninjas don't track, they sneak. Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with hey. the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Okay. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not gonna be easy. 
What? People don't come for I me. Why should I come hard. for you? But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Want to listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's going to be a runner. Aren't we all in this world? <laughs> It's not his. Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. Okay, no, I, I don't, don't think Alvin. I do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're going to eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. We're we'll putting an angel on the tree, but I've always put a star on the tree, so I'm putting the star. It's the star. We're going for the star. Put star on Christmas tree. Boom. There we go. That's nice, I guess. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Okay, and we'll continue this next episode. Ciao. Hey, thanks for watching. This has been played, recorded, and edited by me, Marek D'Amato. The art was by Rafael Agrona. You can find a link to her commission page below. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Ciao.